So obviously the holidays can be super fun, but they can be stressful. Fortunately, good nutrition can play a big role in de-stressing the body and the mind. I hope, right? And the mind too. <laughs> Here with tips on how to approach overall wellness during the holidays is dietitian Ginger Halton. It's great to have you back. And you put the chocolate right in front of me because you know me. <laughs> Right in front of you. So we're going to talk about two different things today. Okay. But the bottom line is that the holidays are stressful. Well, I mean, they are even if you're loving them, right? Because mm -hmm. there's shopping and driving and traffic and crowds. And so there are moments of it interspersed with, you know, great joy and, and the spirit of the holiday. And you tell us that nutrition can actually make a difference. It can. So there's so much to do. There's a lot of joy, but there's a lot of tasks to complete. And a, a lot of people can feel stressed during this time of year, but there are actually foods that can help your body adapt to that. And we're starting with a beverage? Yes. There's a lot of sugary beverages out there right now. Right. And I love eggnog, but oh my gosh. I love eggnog too. This is kind of in that realm. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do today is make a turmeric ginger golden milk tea. Okay. And why is this good for us? So it helps the body actually adapt to stressors. Um, both turmeric and the kind of tea I'm gonna use are known as adaptogens. What is an adaptogen? It's a type Sounds of- Sounds like a good I thing. know, I know. <laughs> I like it's to so have good. an adaptogen. <laughs> <laughs> Give me adaptogen. It is a compound, like an herbal, mm -hmm. that helps the body adapt to social and psychological stress and also environmental stress. Let's do it. Absolutely, so what I'm using is Tulsi tea. Tulsi. Tulsi tea, yep. And so I steeped them in here in mm -hmm. a little bit of water. I used cinnamon and actually I grated fresh turmeric. Isn't that cool? Have you seen yeah, that? Yeah, I actually had not mm -hmm. because it's so yellow yeah. when you when you buy it in powdered form. Yep. Does it matter if it's fresh or in a jar? And not really, but I, I do like to use the fresh. Just for fun. Yep, okay. and I like to use the fresh ginger too. So ginger is very beautiful and mm -hmm. it's very um, soothing to the body. So it, they grate very well. So I put that in here, a okay. little bit of honey for sweetness, but you don't need a lot and a little bit of vanilla. And I have this recipe up on my Champagne Nutrition blog. Okay, could I use sugar substitute if I wanted? Sure. Okay. Absolutely, you could. Hey, I, you, yep, I do. Yep. Sorry. You could make more or less sweetness as well. Very so good. Whatever you want. And then I um, have some hot oat milk. And you and I have talked about oat milk before. I like oat milk. It's a great. I mean, for putting in things. It's not delicious <laughs> by itself. But if you want to make oatmeal or something mm -hmm. a little more, you know, mm -hmm. friendly to your bod, this is a good way to do it. Turmeric needs a little bit of fat to help it absorb in the body. It's very anti-inflammatory, so we're going to help it absorb by having a little bit of fat in okay. the oat milk, and then also my secret weapon, um, black pepper. Seriously? We're going to put that in here All in right. this tea. So I'm going to take that out, set that aside. It's a very dark, beautiful color. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to pour it right in here, get all that deliciousness out. Set that aside. Get all the spices and All whatnot. the spices. And then we're oh, just going to froth it. I love it. this little tool. Isn't this fun? And you yeah. can just use a blender. You could just do it any way you want. That's super simple. And those are not even expensive, the mm -hmm. little frother things. This would be a good Christmas gift for oh. somebody, a holiday gift. That's actually a really good idea. And frothing it does what? Well, it just makes it nice and uh, nice and cozy, little really. And it blends it. And then it's going to taste so delicious because I'm going to make one for you and me. Do you like to top yours with anything? Put a little cinnamon on top? That's or? exactly what we're going to yeah, do. Okay. Yep. I know you always like to put a little something. I like to make it a little special for us. So we're going to do a little, we're going to get crazy. Is black pepper okay. okay? Yeah, let's do it. A little bit. And then my favorite topper. Are you familiar with this? Is it, what is it? It's nutmeg. Nutmeg, okay, of course. Isn't that fun? So. Just do a little like this. It's fresh nutmeg. Yes. What's the matter with me? This is that's like good on nog also. <laughs> see, that's why it's a little bit like eggnog. And then we can the cheers. taste test. Alrighty. Mmm. Okay, I wasn't sure about the black pepper, but I get you now. It's good, right? How weird. Yeah. That that would be delicious, but it is, and you can smell it. It's so delicious. Yum. So not only is this cozy and a little bit lower sugar. It's kind of like eggnog, but it mm. doesn't have any caffeine, and it's got these adaptogenic herbs, so it's really nice and soothing for the holidays. Yeah, that's delish. That Thank would be you. a good morning drink all through the season, and you're sharing the recipe with us, right? Yep, it's on right. the Champagne Nutrition blog, and it's just, you know, you could have it any time of day before bed. Yeah. 
Easy. Heck yeah. All right, let's talk about some of the other foods you brought because these are also good for us to kind of incorporate during this time of year. They are, and you know, during the holidays, we have a lot of treats, which is wonderful. But sometimes we're missing out on some of these veggies and fruits that mm -hmm. are really important to have all year round. Because you're full of pie. You're full of pie, <laughs> and pie is a really good thing. But you want to have um, all these healthy foods too. But I brought these ones specifically because they contain a mineral called magnesium. And that's important, the, the spinach and the broccoli. Is it true also of the banana? Bananas actually contain a lot of magnesium. How about that? I always thought of them for potassium. You're exactly right about that. They're such a great grab and go fruit. And they're, you know, they're they're good all year round, and you can just grab one and take they it come as a in their own package. They're just portable. So these contain magnesium, the broccoli, the spinach. Almonds are actually the richest in magnesium. And the reason that magnesium is so important this time of year is, I mean, it does so many things. It's good for our blood pressure and heart health. It's good for the bones, mm -hmm. but it actually can help you sleep better. Wow. And it can help the body adapt to stress better. I love that. Yep. Okay, over here, the chocolate, is that just for decoration or can we can we call it flavonoids? What is it that's so good about that that I don't have to feel bad about a spoon <sighs> of chocolate? You should which feel, I don't. Yes, you should <laughs> feel good about eating chocolate. It's awesome. And so I brought this for you. Um, it has a lot of magnesium in it. Really? Yes. I mean, just naturally? Mm -hmm. Does it matter if it's dark or milk chocolate? You know, whenever you have the darker chocolate, you have more cocoa, and cocoa is the compound that has that, the, the healthy vitamins and minerals in it. So the darker, the better. I Good. brought some milk chocolate. You can do whatever you like. Thank you so much. That is really delicious. And Thank you. you know, if you had any doubts, seriously, give that a try because I would not have I would not have thought the pepper. But she's right. Up next, we're taking a fun ride across the Atlantic aboard the Queen Mary Two cruise. We'll be right back with that.